okay uh, in this video is going to be um, basically just to show you um, cam profiles so uh, <clears throat> one thing about uh, you know cam profiles and, and dealing with uh, maybe time cams or P, uh, position cams or something of that nature is you know a lot of people you know think they have to sit here and manually enter in the data um, and you know just keep populating it and, and just putting in different points you know um, and then building the cam like that, right? <clears throat> well, I mean, not only that, you can use cam editor, but here's another option. So, um, it's really easy to build a cam based upon, uh, you know, what you want to do using Excel. So, for instance, if I wanted to fill this out, um, let's quickly look at, um, and I'll exit that. Let's quickly look at how many elements I have, right? So what I want to do is find out. So in this profile, I have 40 elements. So 0 through 39 is something that, I mean, I could actually fill in, right? I could use 30 or 40 elements, 0 bit, um, there are, uh, 0 through 39 would be 40, right? So what I want to get at is, so say if I come in here in Excel and I say, well, I want to start with 0, right? Because that's obviously the number one position one two three give it some kind of I mean so Excel is kind of it's really really um, intelligent so if you build up a pattern like this and then you just scroll down and then you say uh, 39 uh, in our case it would be 40 um, so it would be again 0 through 39 um, then if I on say on the second on the slave, so this would be the master on the slave said I want the slave to be completely different. So I want it to be a bunch of zeros, right? And then again, I want to build up kind of somewhat of a memory and then pull it down all the way to 39. Now, with that said, now let's just talk about if I want to make a change to the cam. So let's just say I want starting at 10, I want the cam to go up to 10. Um, then I want to keep maintain that position um, for let's say you know five or, or let's just say ten points so let's just go ahead and drag that down and we started at 10 so we're going to end at 19 so at 10 points so then then let's say we want the same thing from let's just say 30 uh, to I don't know, uh, 36. So let's just put in 10. Uh, again, we'll put in 10. Uh, build up, uh, again, get that retentive memory, and then just say 36, right? So then what we want to do, right, being that this is our CAM profile, and I'm just giving a rough example. We want to copy this straight out of, straight out of Excel, right? nothing fancy uh, just straight out of Excel come in here and then we can come in here and paste this right so we just simply paste um, of course what you should do is delete all these uh, then come in and paste so then that gives me my new cam profile um, that I like I said it's just just that easy the one thing I will say that, that you need to pay attention to is starting with zero and also do not exceed your uh, your your level of uh, your array. So how many how many data points you have in your cam. So in this cam profile, which is the tag name, right? Um, I have zero through 39, which is 30 points of data or 40 points of data. So I'm, I'm actually filling in 40 points of data had I had actually put in. 41 it would not have taken when I did the paste now if I if I did 39 or 38 or 37 or, or even less than that it would have still took because you can't over you know exceed the limit but you can go under it so then I just quickly hit apply close it open it again look at the cam profile make sure it's going to do exactly like I said and so far so good looks good so now if I needed to edit it from this point, I would just come back, uh, edit it at this point, and call it, you know, at that point it would 
you know you so you still have room to edit it right um, so just really what I, I wanted to do with this video uh, and it's a real short video right but what I wanted to do is show you that you know it's easy to uh, build a cam real quick instead of just coming here and entering and so I mean say you're say for instance you had 200 points of data that you wanted to, to fill in onto this cam um, because you, instead of being at, you know, an array of 40, you had an array of 200. You know, then the perfect instance is to use, uh, you know, Excel. And not only that, too, you can actually, you can put in equations, you know, like you can, you can say, um, you know, whatever. Uh, so let's just kill that. Like, say, for instance, you can say A4, um, say, well, for right here, uh, you can say A4 plus whatever you know uh, it, uh you know and have an equation or either you can you can simply say um like if you wanted a circle to happen or something like that then basically you can come in here and and then time you know increment this down and then make a small equation over here and then times it by pi right because you're trying to make a circle so um but what i'm trying to do is is kind of open your eyes to you say you can use Excel and then all you do is copy both uh, both spots or both uh, both columns just copy it and then come in here into the software and just paste it in now I will say this you cannot edit a pro um, you can't edit a cam or anything like that while you're um, you know in online so make sure you're offline when you do it and again you can use cam editor if you want to um, that's a whole different topic for another day this is a real short video. Just wanted to explain that, um, you know, how to use um, Excel to uh, to your aid and to your benefit to uh, help your CAM profiles. So again, hopefully that was, um, you know, kind of informational. And from a lot of you, you already know that. Uh, if you do, hats off. If not, hopefully you learned something um, and uh, got a new tool out of it. Okay, so again, real short video. Uh, thanks for the support for the channel. Thanks for the support for the website, uh, onlineplcsupport.com. Again, uh, really, really do appreciate the, the support and backing that I have. So um, if you guys need, like, would like to see different kind of videos, throw me some ideas. Uh, really looking forward to hearing from, uh, from people and, and finding out what they want. You know, because this is basically, you know, I feel like we can feed off each other and, and make things better. Okay, so uh, not to ramble on cut it dry. Um, all right. So hopefully that was good. And, uh, I'll look forward to speaking with you in the next video. Okay. Thanks.